Hey guys, it's Joe, back with more information about the press event here in March where the NDA was just lifted as a druid, which you guys know, Martian is a druid on both Horde and Alliance side. It is the class that has always been the one that has been the nearest and dearest to my heart. The fact that it's so versatile, uh, the hybrid of course, you can just do about anything with the class. Now. The reason I am talking about druids in particular right now is because as much as there's been a lot of talk about what warlocks are getting in this expansion, again, I don't know locks enough to be too excited about that, but hopefully I'll get you more information on that. But in terms of druids, my friend Lasana here at Restokin.com, she went ahead and has a post here about the glyph changes that we will be seeing in Missa Pandaria. While I could go over the glyphs that she has listed here, the main thing that I really want to point out to a lot of Druid fans, and especially Resto Druid fans, is something that we actually had to unearth, and I watched it all unfold on Twitter with uh, uh, Lasana here and Nathera uh, from uh, Blizzard to try and confirm that the glyph of the treant here it says it allows you to shape shift into treant form the act of shape shifting frees the caster of movement slowing effects okay so we kind of looked at that and a lot of these other glyphs that you're seeing here are transformations of your form and uh so we wanted to know exactly if you're going to shape shift into treant form what that entails and what we found out very much so and especially actually it was Lasana herself who found this particular article about it from Blizz Planet and let me read it to you <clears throat> I was checking out the druid glyphs when I saw something that caught my eye a ton of new minor glyphs for druids that affect their forms the first minor glyph I tried brought back the old tree form the druids dearly loved. Now you can pop on this minor glyph, be a tree, and I believe the, fact, the effect was either 50% reduction in movement effects while healing, don't quote me though, because I was an idiot and forgot to write down what it did. Now here's the important part. Now this is the different, is different than the glyph of treant that has your tree of life form ability resembled the old tree form. This is an actual form on your skill bar, you can choose and walk around in at your leisure. It has nothing to do with the Tree of Life spell. So what we're saying is, ladies and gentlemen, permanent tree form is back. Druids can finally now, Resto Druids can finally walk around now in their tree form as they should have always been able to. You have your bear tanks who are always in their bear form when they're doing their job it's not a cooldown. I'd love to see a night elf on all fours and pop their bear form as a freaking 30 second cooldown or some crap okay you know cats never did that they didn't have a cooldown. they always had their kitty form tree form was the thing that was taken away boomkins they, that could have easily been a cooldown of some sort let boomkins stay in their normal you know humanoid form and then use the boomkin form as a cooldown much like they do with our tree form so this glyph is way too long in coming i am so excited it's the way it should be it never should have changed cataclysm felt very empty in a lot of ways and i think they forgot a lot of things little things like this matter to players I can't tell you how excited people are on Twitter just over this one little thing. <laughs> okay? Really. Uh, myself included. It's just, it's the way it should be. Should have never changed. So, yeah, I'm going to be happy again to be a permanent tree, or at least a tree whenever I damn well please, without having to worry about a cooldown. Let's put it that way. Anyway, guys, it's a real quick video. I just wanted to throw that out there. All you druids rejoice. Perma tree form is back. Take care, guys.